Excuse me, sir. How you doing? Hi. Hi, so I get a call. Uh -huh. They called me over as their well, attorney. We, uh, get out of the sure, of course. And they're telling me that you're demanding that they all show ID, which is unconstitutional under the Heibel case, United States Supreme Court, uh -huh. and NRS 17123. Well, I will double check with my officers, but they're saying they asked and they voluntarily gave it. Uh, they got a call. I got a call that said. Well, I understand yeah. they called you. I'm just saying what they told me. So let me double check on Yes. That. They're give, doing a questionnaire about a motorcycle club. There, I, they clearly asked him if he had any Mongol tattoos. Okay, which is certainly outside the scope of a traffic stop. Well, we're getting two different stories next time. All right. He's also doing an investigation, and I'm clearly recording even, him asking questions about the Mongols Motorcycle Club. Okay. Right? Um, to where you have a reasonable amount, it, the, there's a new case, 2015, Taurus v. State of Nevada, mm -hmm. to where, um, to where you, you can detain them for the purpose of the stop, but you can't go past that unless and until there's other reasonable suspicion. Taurus v. State of Nevada, right. okay? So these guys do not want to be here voluntarily. They're clearly not doing this voluntarily. And so if, if the driver is done, um, then he should be let go to, to drive. And frankly, the passenger should be able to just walk away. They didn't do anything wrong. Well, I, I again, I'm not sure what's going on with that part. And the driver, I don't think they're done with the stop yet. Okay, okay. but he was the driver? Yeah. Okay, so why are they questioning the passenger? Okay, There's no reasonable I, suspicion. I don't know if they, if something popped up. So he's not being not. detained then? I said, I don't know what they have on him. Well, they're not even allowed to, Taurus v. State again. If he he's not allowed. he gave his stuff, okay, and they're checking on something with it. Again, okay. I don't know what popped All up right. on him. So if you just give us a minute. Ask for your stuff back. Just ask for your ID back. Ask for your ID back. This can be over if you just say it's over. I just asked, this is over, I request my ID, it's not going to be over. So he's not giving your ID even though he had no reasonable suspicion for the stop. Thank you. Come with me. Hey, all the passengers, have them come with me, unless they're being detained. What's that? If the passengers are being detained, they must stay, otherwise have them just come. If they're being detained, they must stay. But they have to have reasonable suspicion that the actual passengers have committed a crime, are now committing a crime, or did? Yeah. Officer, may I approach and talk to my clients, please? What's that? May I approach and talk to my clients, please? Uh, hang tight. Let me get a Sarge, man. Sure. I don't want to step on anybody's feet, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, under Berkmer, they have yeah. the Fifth Amendment right to counsel because you went outside the routine or, or ordinary traffic stop. Gotcha. Yeah. It's a United States Supreme Court case. I just want to go talk to my clients is all. Understandable. Yeah. Thank you. How's your night going? Aside from this. Well, it is what it is, right? Yeah. I'd love for there to be less drama. Yeah. But it is what it is.
At least it's nice out, right? Yeah. It's not too hot. Got all the licenses in his hand. I think he's just making sure everybody gets it, get their stuff back there. Yeah. Well, there's there's a Supreme Court case, Heibel, that says that unless you are, because uh, there's two expe exceptions that are Heibel, H I I B E L. Heibel versus who? Um, just, just uh, so I can read it. It's it's a uh, it's it's along that okay. one. Okay. If you just Google Heibel, H I I B E L, it comes up to where uh, the United States Supreme Court um, <clears throat> interpreted Nevada's duty to identify statute. Gotcha. Okay. And the dude identify statute, you know, clearly says that if you have reasonable suspicion that someone has committed crime, is now committed crime, or will commit a crime, they must identify themselves. And what the Supreme Court said is that that is um, stating your legal name and nothing else. You are not required to do anything else. Now, there's two exceptions under state law when you're the driver of a vehicle yeah. and if you have a CCW and you are concealed carrying. And that's when you got to give out your date of birth and whatnot. Is well, you you never have to give out your date of birth, okay. like ever, okay. right? Um, sometimes it's in your best interest if there's a warrant with somebody with your name and oh, looks like yeah. you, Touché. right? Yeah, yeah, right. We sometimes get that a lot actually, right? Quite a bit. There you go. But as far as demanding ID, it's actually a Fourth Amendment violation for you to demand ID. You can request. Um, in fact, the there's a case Fernandez out of the Ninth Circuit yeah. that says specifically you're allowed to inquire as to their identification, including requesting their identification. And that's Fernandez v. U.S. So, um, so you can request it, but demanding ID is a clear Fourth Amendment violation under Heibel. Heck, the United States Supreme Court, you know, looked at our duty to identify statute. Yeah. And the problem is I get a call from my clients saying they're demanding we do the ID, you know, and I'm just like, you don't have to, I'll be right there. I wish, you know, I didn't want to jaywalk, you know, I, you know I'm the most famous jaywalker in Nevada, right? I know, I know. Right? You just Google Stephen Stubbs jaywalking? Yeah. yeah. All right. I didn't want that to happen again, right? I didn't want yeah. to be an even more famous jaywalker, right. alleged jaywalker, right? Yeah. So. But, I mean, you're not allowed to demand ID. You just can't. You can demand a driver's license, and you can demand a CCW together with an ID if they are concealed carrying. Gotcha. That's all you're allowed to do. And of course, if there's reasonable suspicion, you can demand that they identify themselves. Yeah, may I talk to the man with the stripes? Yes. We just gave it to him. Yeah. Sir, can you go back over to the sidewalk? Of course I can. I asked them if they wanted to go with you. I told them they voluntarily could go with you and you could go back across the street, whatever. They said that that's their DD and they're going to wait for him. That's not what I asked. I asked if I could go over to my clients and talk to them. Right, and I said no. Uh, so you said no to that. You're not allowing me to go over there. I'm not letting you interfere with the investigation. Okay, but they're not being investigated. There's no reasonable suspicion that right, they did but anything. The vehicle right now, he's the driver's still being stopped. The driver's so way away from the if vehicle. You wanted to talk to him. I said, do you guys want to step out? You're free to go. They said no. They want to wait for their driver. So you are not allowing me to go to the vehicle to speak to the clients that called me I'm saying and identified me as their attorney. Is like you said, we're not investigating them. They're not being questioned. But the They're person you're investigating is is from far us. apart not from the vehicle. you to go up there to us. Okay. And so once we're done with him and he goes back to the vehicle, by all means, you. But can they go have up there. clearly once identified me the as their attorney, and under Berkmer, because this is a traffic stop that's outside of routine. Why is it outside of routine? Okay. The minute you start asking questions that are not, um, not well, it depends on the facts and circumstances of the case, obviously. But I clearly saw that him doing, and I recorded him doing, a gang interview of someone in there. That is not a routine traffic stop. Um, this many officers, that's not an ordinary or routine traffic stop. Well, well, we there, there are many, many things. people in the vehicle as we do, it would be routine. Okay, but you're clearly filling out information um, and gathering intelligence. And that's why you were asking for information and why there was an interview asking those questions from people who were not actually being detained they say, now again, you know, you say there's different facts. Okay, I'm going to respect that. They called me over. They called me on the phone and over and said, they're demanding our identification, saying you have to pass them forward. Right. That's what they're saying. They I asked for ID and they presented it voluntarily. Okay, and I understand that's what you're saying. That's not what they're telling me. And, and I understand yeah. that there's two different yes. stories inside. But and that, that alone, you asking for their ID, 
that's beyond a, well, an say, ordinary hey, do you routine. Do mind if we can get it? And they voluntarily okay. get it. It's the same with the name. If but, I asked you what your name but was. But with the interview being outside of any scope of traffic, that makes it so it's not an ordinary or routine. The Kurt case and is again, I don't know what they popped up on the, look, the stop. Look, I, video, I was videotaping it, man. They were clearly uh, doing an interview asking... It, this gentleman asked about Mongol tattoos. Be done. Okay. All right. So, we'll, we'll be another minute, and then again, once Thank you, sir. done, you'll be free to go off. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Right? I've heard of it. Yes. So, in that particular case... For YouTube. Okay, good. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right. I, I understand your, officers your like YouTube to watch... Famous. There you go. <laughs> right. It looks like he's finished. May I go talk to my clients now? If they are no longer... That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm asking. Is yeah. he no longer detained? Yeah, absolutely. If they're All no right. longer detained, absolutely you can. Yeah. Are they no longer detained, sir? They're no longer detained. There, there you go. Thank you, you sir. Go, sir. Absolutely. There are lawyers. Then there is a champion for justice. Attorney Stephen Stubbs. Stephen Stubbs. Fights for justice every day. Stevens.